wanted to go to Alaska, the opposite end of the spectrum would be going down south towards Mexico, the Baja. It's been pretty crazy seeing this two-year project kind of unfold and how we've brought on Martin to jump in the bus with us. Welcome to Mexico! much been in Mexico about a few hours a few minutes on the trail changing the first flat of the day first flat of the trip actually dude I think he's faking it it's like so hard to keep up with that fast sweet so I'm, I'm faking a puncture <laughs> <laughs> We got to fill up in northern Baja with ultra low sulfur diesel because they don't have it in the south. I'm nervous about everything. This is my first time in Mexico. So we're basically in the middle of nowhere filling up and their credit card machine won't work for any of our cards. So now we're trying to see how much cash we have together. Oh, we made it. I don't know how we made it. Crazy. Thank you so much. Punta San Carlos. I know it's like a hot spot for kite surfing and, and mountain biking. And yeah, sure enough, I got a hold of the owner, Kevin, and he gave me a map of all the trails and uh, yeah, told me there was a super long dirt road. And I didn't really realize when he told me like, yeah, there's a long dirt road. I'm like, yeah, sure. I've driven on a ton of long dirt roads. Three hours of roughness.
With a couple of solid days under our belt out at Punta San Carlos, we uh, loaded things up and made our way out the long dirt road and towards our next destination. This will do, I guess. Trying to find some Wi-Fi. You want to help Andrew dump the tank? No, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine here, actually. Is he done soon? I mean, if I can handle a bike, I should be able to handle a horse. Look at that guy, he's like... Ah!